a quick, quick video for me, and I've got something I want to talk to you about that I've been struggling with personally, and I think that most of us do that have a job, or we have a practice, or maybe we have a lot of things going on, and I call it the battle between now versus later money. You know, most of us do our Young Living business part-time, and myself is included. You know, I work about 20 hours a week, and some of you work two hours a week. Some people work maybe an hour a week. And it's often uh, the second or third or fourth thing on our list because we have our jobs and we've got all the other things that have us running around, you know, whether it's client appointments or phone consults or whatever we're doing, and it distracts us. And so our now money, the one that we have immediately at the moment, seems to keep us really focused. And the later money, which is our long-term residual that we're building with Young Living, often gets put on the back burner. And I can't tell you how often I hear from people, and I know when I first started my business, I said this myself, when I get through this, or when I get a new job, or when I move, or when I have XYZ or when my kids get a little older, then I will blah, blah, blah with Young Living. And I've seen people where days, months, weeks, years, almost a decade goes by for some people and they're in the same position because they kept saying later, 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 and they never got going now. Even if it was an hour a week, you know, four hours a month, to putting it towards their business, they figure that if you do that within a couple years, you can replace your income. And so within that 10 year period or five year period, those people could have completely replaced their incomes and only be doing it with a full time job like or business like Young Living. And so that's really important to differentiate between now versus later money and get focused on what does your, what do you have to do for your later money? And Young Living does have now money and we often forget that because it's the easy thing to do that it's easy to put off. You know what I mean? People see it as the extra thing. But the now money from Young Living is when you sponsor new people. You get with on a, on a starter kit, on the premium starter kit, you get $50 bonus per starter kit. So if you sponsored 10 people in a month with that starter kit, you would have an extra $500. And so that's a lot. That's really good now money, right? Your later money is your residual with Young Living that which I get on people who've been on my team for after the 90 days of actually that first you know bonus that we have after that 90 days you're in the later money you know and the later money can even be like some of my people that I've had is people purchasing and been loyal customers since 2001 you know I still get some of the thank yous from Young Living on that and that's definitely good later money especially when you need to take some time off to attend to your health or you're moving or maybe you just want to take your family on vacation for a month <laughs> yes a month you can have your money take care of you Young Living will do that if you plan now for your later money, okay? So we're gonna do a video coming out and maybe some conference calls in the near future talking about how to build your later money and for the amount that you need either to pay off your debt, which is our mission for 2014, and also create that residual to maybe transition you into less hours, maybe quitting a third job that you might be dealing with, you know, so you're a little more comfortable. Maybe you're making ends meet right now, but you're so tight that you don't have money for anything else and you know let's get you that so you can have some fun with your family and maybe take care of yourself in ways that you haven't been able to afford to so let's get clear all right get clear on what you're going to put in investing into your later money your money that's going to be in the bank for the long road with young living and also don't forget young living also has the now money with your current you know sponsorship with the a premium starter kit and then the now money that you make with your current business or your job just remember that could be only temporary you know what happens if you get sick or what happens if you get divorced and you got to focus on that or you move or whatever it is then you will have that money uh, your long-term your residual money from Young Living that can take care of you like it did for me for three years 
when from 2007 till 2010 when I had to take time off, I never in a million years would have thought that Young Living I would have needed for that purpose. You know, hindsight's always 2020, but if I could have looked in the future, I would have said there's no way that I would have needed to have that take care of me like that. So anyways, signing off guys. We'll see you later. Bye.